Yo, what's happening, world? Name's Raheem Flowers. And, you know, for the sake of being a good sport, because we're in the month of February, I got to say this. Fuck Black History Month and fuck the black community. I remember I got on Tommy Sotomayor back in 2014 for saying that very sad thing. And, you know, when I look at it in hindsight, in retrospect, he was right. What he said was the truth. And, you know, speaking of Black History Month and black people, I got a black man right here on the screen. And for anybody who doesn't know, this is a grandmaster chess player. Comes from the same city as me, Chicago. Emery Tate. This is the father of Andrew Tate. Of the top G. Yes. And, you know, you can learn a lot through playing chess. Even though I've never played it, I've only observed it. And that's why they have different variants of chess. Different variations. But yeah, things that we can learn from Andrew, honestly, being a content creator and saying, making statements that would be considered inflammatory, I've learned that you need to learn, you have to master the art of shutting the fuck up. You know, they say in the scriptures, in Proverbs, verse what chapter 27 I believe verse 1 to 3 anybody could correct me on that that you don't ever talk about your plans because you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring reason why I'm saying that is because Andrew Tate spoke about a phase that he went that he has in store for the world and how he was going to fall back on social media the unfortunate part about it is he didn't get to finalize his goals I mean for right now at least because you know he's currently locked up him and Tristan but he'll be out in the relative near future and I thought to myself how if Andrew would have pumped the brakes fell back after he relayed his point and got viral all throughout social media especially TikTok he would have been able to manifest whatever he's looking to manifest. Now, the reason why I showed you all that picture with that man giving me an invitation to the Illuminati. Because I thought about something Andrew Tate said about his war room and how it's basically the refined, cooler version of the Illuminati. Which I found to be hilarious. Because Andrew Tate often spoke about what? Stepping out of the matrix, being a better man of self-improvement, not getting caught up in vices, at least putting that to a bare minimum. He got caught up, got locked up, and then there were transcripts of conversation via WhatsApp because these women were trying to finesse him. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew Tate should have definitely had like a backup plan in case something would have popped off. Considering everything that he has said about the dynamics between men and women and just being somebody who knows chess very well. I mean, you have all these people making videos, hit pieces, commentaries. I wanted to see how this would play out. While I waited for the reports, more evidence, more transcripts, more leads, instead of just talking about Andrew Tate just to, for the sake of going viral. That's a mistake a lot of content creators make. Too damn thirsty, man. Trying to get too much of that Fiji because they too damn thirsty for content. Fuck that, man. But yeah, my two cents. Ew. Andrew Tate would have just moved with more stealth and just worked more behind the scenes after achieving this first phase or second phase that he was speaking about for his grand master plan of his. And, you know, he has developed the cult 
and a cult. You have a bunch of people who talk about stepping out of the matrix. And I don't think enough people really question Andrew Tate as a person. Now, look, I don't really believe anything anybody says in this world. I'm always open for skepticism, especially in regards to the female species. Men lie and women lie. The fundamental difference is we will get called out on our shit and we will have to answer for whatever acts that we commit, but it's not the same thing for the counterparts of ours, which is women. See, I almost think sometimes that they pulled a Bill Cosby on Andrew because you know the whole thing about Bill Cosby achieving land, him buying out networks from those 1948ers and calling out the black community, telling black women to stop having children out of wedlock, telling these hyper-masculine dudes to pull their pants up. Guess what? That made it easier for the judge to slam the gavel in the courtroom. Because as far as Bill Cosby was concerned, he built enough hatred and contempt in the black community for people not to fuck with him and for it to be easier for him to get persecuted and punished and locked up in prison in Philly. But as far as Andrew goes, I mean, we live in a climate of the Me Too era, of feminism, of this cultural Marxism. So it was easy for people to just tune out whatever he would have to say regarding the Matrix and regarding this Saturnian wicked system that we live in. It was easy for them to just dismiss what he had to say. And I'm not a fan of Andrew. I'm not here having hashtag free top G and all that. I'm looking at it from the most objective standpoint possible. There are things that I agree with Andrew. There are things I disagree with, with him. I have a very neutral stance with Andrew Tate. I think he's hilarious and entertaining, but, you know, I think the problem with him is He'll say something and he'll speak very anecdotically, but it'll make it sound like what he's saying is gospel truth or universal truth. But the funny thing is that a lot of his colleagues, his friends and people who proclaim to be red pill will say that they're, they value the facts, they value empirical evidence and data and apply critical thinking, and they're not into all those anecdotal things, but somehow they give Andrew Tate a pass for using anecdotes and talking about his own personal views instead of using statistics. I always found that to be very hypocritical and interesting, but I can't entirely fault Andrew for how they respond and how they react to whatever he does, but that would be my take on it. So yeah, we're going to see where the world is moving forward, and that's what all I got to say regarding that. Peace out. One love, everybody.